guys, it's Kara. I am back with some more lists from the Listers Got a List Challenge. I'm actually going to do 16 and 17 together, even though they're not really related. I'll show you why here in just a second. Uh, 16 is things I would do if I won the lottery, and 17 is ways I have changed over the years. So, as usual, I'm just um, reminding you guys I've been using the Mama Elephant flashy uh, letters for the numbers and the Versafine Onyx Black ink and my Martha Stewart stamp press to do any stamping which is pretty much just the numbers for the most part for me. So I decided I wanted to do something a little different for number 16 and then when I started doing it I decided I would tie them in together and the reason I did that is because I pulled out a couple stamps or sorry stencils I pulled out this Tim Holtz stencil which is measured and this memory box stencil which is bubbles and I pulled out some of my mini distressings I basically just used picked raspberry and let's see picked raspberry and wild honey uh, because of the colors that were on the Project Life cards that I chose. And then I just use these little daubers to put on some color with this, these inks and these stencils. So what I did was, let's see. Okay, so I did this here. Let me move this out of the way. I knew I'd be putting cards kind of in the center. So I first stenciled with the uh, Tim Holtz stencil in the picked raspberry right there all the pink is that and then I took this one on top with the wild honey and added a little bit more color because I knew I wanted to use this particular uh, project life card and you can see the colors so that's why I went with the combo and basically what I did on this one is I put the label on the card and then I inked around it with the uh, picked raspberry as well just to make it pop out a little bit because it was an awful lot of white and then on this one there's a few other colors down here, but I don't think that's a very big deal. And I put another um, Project Life card behind it. It's, uh, pink polka dots matches the pink that you see. And I punched out two holes for my numbers, so I'm going to use that. And I'm basically just going to kind of tie them in together. And I decided to do it on both pages because when I had this one done, I realized that the card was so big, you really weren't going to see a lot of the stenciling, and I thought it was kind of cool. So I decided to do it on this page too, and then just kind of tie in the colors. Um, so that is what I did. So I think um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And basically, I'm going to keep my embellishments pretty simple this time. I think I'm just going to actually maybe use some... Um, pink polka dotted washi tape just because I like the stencil background and I don't want to cover it up too terribly much. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this one down, the bigger one. I'm going to put it a little higher just so you can see a little bit of the stenciling down here and a little bit up top. So let me go ahead and do that. Still using the same um, glue tape. This is the plus glue tape that I showed you guys on an earlier uh, video. And I probably should have apologized like a while ago for the noise this thing makes, but it just is what it is. So I use it and get, you know, done with it as quick as possible. And when I'm by myself, it's obviously not a big deal, but I figure it might be annoying to some of you guys. So I'm going to put this down. Like I said, I want it a little higher. I'm just kind of making sure it's on semi-straight. I did put the label on crooked to kind of go with the yellow. There was a little dotted line where you could write, so I just kind of lined it up like that. I'm going to add the number 16 while I'm at it. Okay. And this time I'm actually going to put it kind of on the card a little bit. Just overlap it a little bit like that. And I'm going to wait to do any washi tape till I have this side done with its card, um, which is what I will do next. Thinking I'm going to put it a little lower and put the label right here. And I will go over what I wrote down here in just a minute with you guys. I just thought I would get the basics done first. For whatever reason, this label, there we go. The label didn't want to come off. So let's see, I'm thinking... A little further down, maybe. 
and the label like right there. Okay, so this label, let's see, I want to do it this way. And I don't actually care if it's right in the center. I think I kind of want it a little bit closer to me because this one is a little bit closer to that side and I'm going to offset it I think with the number. So and I never seem to get these things 100% straight. That's okay. All right. That doesn't look too bad. I'm going to then kind of put the number I think I want to put it down here, up there, probably up there a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to put it over here this time. Okay, so let me do that. So the first list over here, I'll start talking about uh, number 16. That was things I would do if I won the lottery. So that's a hard one because my husband and I have actually talked about this because we actually occasionally do get lottery tickets, probably like a lot of you guys. And we always talk about, well, there's, you know, some differences when you say, what if I won the lottery? Because you could say, what if I won the lottery, but it wasn't really big money. Like it was, you know, I mean, it would be nice to win the lottery any money, but not like one of those, you know, 300 million, you know, dollar lotteries. It was just kind of, you know, a couple million or something like that. I think least for us, and maybe we're just, you know, the only weirdos, but for us it makes a difference in how we think about it because, you know, like if it's not really big money, you wouldn't go in to your job and say, see ya, you know, you might uh, try and hang on to that job for a little while. Wow, that's really, that um, title is really crooked, but oh well. Um, anyway, so I had to decide when I wrote all this down, was I going to pretend like it was big lottery money or little lottery money, if that makes sense. And, um, sorry, I had to get a drink. I decided it was big lottery money. I f figured if I was gonna, you know, play pretend, I was gonna pretend big. So, I had a whole bunch of stuff, no particular order, and what I had was pay off all my bills, pay off all the student loan debt for my son, buy my mom and siblings a home or house, and, or pay off their mortgage, I would buy a condo in Seattle. I would quit my job. I would buy my husband a motorcycle, a boat, a motorhome, and a truck, because he would love all of those things. I would go on a long trip all around Europe. I would get a personal trainer. Probably after that trip to Europe, I would probably even, would need a tr personal trainer even more. I would buy a dog, which sounds silly. I could buy a dog now, but my husband and I, um, since we had to put both of our Cocker Spaniels down a little while ago, um, we are discussing, discussing whether or not to get a dog because, you know, if you want to travel, you have to find someone to watch them and all that jazz. So I figured if I had a lot of money, I could pay somebody to watch the dog so I can buy a dog and he won't argue. I would take art classes, take cooking classes. I would take classes or learn how to design a blog or website because I'm horrible at that. I would start my own business. I would donate money to, and I just put kids slash animal charities. I do actually have a few in mind, but I just didn't want to write them all down. I would design my perfect art studio and build it, and then I would relax and be with family and friends. So that's what I put over here. For ways I have changed over the years, I put, I have learned to think twice, or I have learned to think before I speak. I have more wrinkles and more freckles. I, the way I choose my friends has changed. I have less tolerance for people's excuses and BS. Um, and I'm not going to go into a ton of details on these because some of it, it would be personal, um, more personal than I want to share anyway. Uh, my politics have changed. Not going to tell you how. Um, and the last one is that I have a better understanding that people are different and that is okay. So that is kind of what I've written down for both of those. And I'm going to take some of these and use them to... Um, just put a little bit, you know, not that this these pages need any more pink, but I'm going to put some more pink using this washi tape. So I think I'm going to start out with just some of the thin stuff because 
this uh, list 17 already has some polka dot so I think I'm just gonna put a little bit on here not a ton just a little bit and I might even just put kind of like a random strip up here I should like do it crooked like my uh, label is so everybody thinks I did that completely on purpose but oh well okay so there's that and I'll cut that off in just a second uh, I'm gonna take one other little piece of that just so that it's on both sides and I think I'm gonna put it up here on the edge of that card near the edge of the page there we go grab my scissors so I can cut that washi tape off and okay so I think I should probably put maybe a little bit of a washi tape down here this one is super thick, I mean, in comparison to most washi tape, but I like it because it's got a white kind of see-through background on it. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of that up at the top here. Because then you'll also be able to see the yellow um, stencil like that dot right there, you can still see it through the tape, which I think is kind of cool. And I'll, maybe I'll just put this little teeny piece that's remaining, like over here, where there's really not any other decoration. I think that's crooked. Okay, like that. Going a little nuts with the polka dots this time, right? It's starting to get a little overwhelming, I think. But you know what? I'm going to put just a teeny bit more. I'm going to use this one other washi tape because it has some small polka dots. And I'm going to put just a small little piece down at the bottom here. Let's see. I'm trying not to cover up any of the words that I wrote. I think I could have gone on and listed even more that I would do if I won the lottery, but, you know, didn't want to go crazy. And I think I will just simply put this one right next to that one and overlap it a little bit. like I need to do that in reverse down here since I overlapped it up there like I should put a little bit of this other polka dot tape down there for symmetry sake I guess I would say okay and I'll just I know these are basically the same colors but the polka dots are different sizes. So it has a little bit of a difference there, I guess. Anyhow, I think that's it. I'm done with that one, or those two, I guess I should say. So I will be back soon with number 18. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, I do appreciate your comments on all the videos. It helps me um, you know, know that you guys are watching and all that kind of stuff. It's um, good encouragement. So, um, you know, keep leaving them if you have been. I really do appreciate that. And I think that's it for today, guys, um, or at least for these lists. If you have, like I said, any questions for me, leave them down below. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody.